Arnold Schwarzenegger, seven times Mr. Olympia champion and undoubtedly the greatest bodybuilder of all time, slammed bodybuilding in a recent speech. He becomes so engrossed in his own success that he's forgotten his roots and love of bodybuilding? Is he jealous of the new breed of bodybuilders taking the cheers and adulation that was once his? Far from it. I think that the sport of bodybuilding is at a crossroads. I think that the sport of bodybuilding could go through the roof and accept it by the general public in a huge way and uh, become part of the Olympics, become a, an Olympic sport, and be on television and uh, be on everything. He was great for bodybuilding because he made it mainstream. Before Arnold, bodybuilding was just a freak show. The public thought gyms were just hangout places where semi-clad sweaty men grunted and groaned while flexing their bulging muscles to the mirrors as they lifted weights. Arnold changed all that. He showed America and the whole world a different image of gyms and bodybuilding. He was intelligent, charismatic, witty, funny, and dedicated. It wasn't just his physique that was larger than life, his personality was too. This was just what bodybuilding needed. But Arnold's contribution to bodybuilding is under threat. Bodybuilding is again becoming a dirty word. Once more, there is a social stigma associated with the word bodybuilding. People now think of bodybuilding as a world of steroids use, drug-induced ridiculously muscle-bound behemoths with a narcissistic swagger in tiny little trunks. Now, don't get us wrong, there's a lot to admire in these guys and girls as well. Despite the drugs, they have to work their asses off and are genetically gifted. But the current breed of bodybuilders just don't inspire normal people to be like them. They are just mass monsters, huge beyond all proportions, freaks. Most girls we talk to use words like gross and disgusting to describe the bodybuilder's aesthetic. But at the judging of current top bodybuilding events for scoring athletes highly who are turning up looking disproportionate. Like it was in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Back again to become a subculture where it's only for a limited amount of uh, characters. I think we worked very hard to get it out of that in the 70s, and we were successful in convincing people that this is a beautiful body. Bodybuilding used to place great emphasis on symmetry as well as pure muscularity. But somewhere along the way, bodybuilders slowly got judged more on being massive than proportionate. Plus, the pure amount of drugs that are being used now creates huge, bloated, and ridiculously protruding stomachs. The 1970s and before, bodybuilders looked great. They had great physiques, muscular, powerful, athletic, and proportionate. They made the human body look beautiful, like a piece of art, a sculpture of the perfect human body. I wouldn't want to have the body of a modern pro bodybuilder. They seem grotesque and disproportionate. Simply because it's too big, it's too enormous, and it doesn't have any talent behind it. Let me ask you, which of the following bodies do you consider to look more beautiful and athletic? A 1970s bodybuilder, Frank Zane, for anyone who wants to know, every day of the week. Sure, they used steroids at that stage, but they still looked right. As Arnold says, it doesn't look right anymore. This is unacceptable the way bodybuilding is going. We don't want to see the biggest man up there. We want to see the most beautiful man, the most athletic man up there on stage. They just go, they barely can get their breath together. And then the stomach hangs out. And then they hit the shot. The proportion is gone in order to be a champion. I don't want to look like that. If the symmetry and the beauty of the human body that needs to be encouraged and promoted. In Arnold's words, we need to make sure that we are rewarding the right guys because if you reward the right guys, then everyone will start training to have a beautiful body again. It will come down to pressuring a forced change to the currently flawed judging process. Judges need to set guidelines that reward the physiques the community wants to see. He is still a champion for bodybuilding and all the things it stands for.